So I wanted to see what would happen if I put some of the best managers in the world in the same division at the National League level. We have spun a wheel so that each team in the National League gets themselves a top tier manager. Will it make a difference? Will the buffed AI managers that Sports Interactive have said about in this year's game make a difference? Let's dive in and take a look and see who is at which national team club. So guys, here we are at the National League. You can see every one of the 24 clubs on your screen has themselves a brand new manager and they are some of the best in the world of football and I will say this was set up by my good friend CTXCB. Please do go and check him out. His links will be down in the description below. Does loads of stuff. Post it onto the Steam Workshop as well so you can get these sorts of things off of him directly. Now I will say with this I don't know which managers are at which club, so I think this is going to be an experience for both you and for me. Um, so let's dive in. Let's take a look at some of these managers. We've got Aldershot Town here. They have Arnie Slot as their manager. You can see what we've done here. He is joining Feyenoord on the first of the first uh, of July, 2032. So he is pinned in place here. I don't know if he can get sacked, but he is pinned in place for the next 10 years. So we're going to jump in at a different increments and see how some of these clubs and some of these manager combos have actually got on. Because I think it'll be quite interesting. But the former Feyenoord manager Arnie Slot is at Aldershot Town. Uh, moving forward, we've got Lucien Favre is at Altrincham. We've got uh, the Wolves manager uh, Le. Le Pods, Le Pods, we, uh, I butcher this dude's name. He's at Barnet. I'm sorry, Wolves fans. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, Pioli is at Boreham Wood. We've got Sarri at Bromley. Uh, Unai Emery, good evening, everybody. He is at Chesterfield. Uh, Simeone and Zaghi is at Dan uh, Dagenham and Redbridge. Uh, Spalletti is at Dorking Wanderers. We've got Eric Ten Hag at Eastley. That's quite an interesting one. Christophe Galtier has swapped PSG and Paris for Gateshead and... I've been to the Gateshead International Stadium and it's, it's not quite Paris. Uh, David Moyes is at Halifax Town. We've got Massimo, uh, Massimiliano Allegri is at Maidenhead. Jose Mourinho, the special one, is at Maidstone United. We'll touch on that in a second. Uh, Brendan Rogers is at Notts County, which I think is another nice little combo. Carlo Ancelotti, obviously the champ current Champions League holder, is at Oldham Athletic, which I think they definitely need. Uh, Pep Guardiola is at Scunthorpe United, which is vastly different from how you think uh pep would be now he's been to southampton and he's, he's definitely going to be a going to be into scunthorpe as well uh ernesto valverde is at solly Moors. we've also got gasparini the atalanta manager at south End united we've got uh abel ferreira is at torquay united julian nagelsman is at weldstone um Diego Simeone at Woking. Again, that's another interesting one. Jurgen Klopp at Wrexham. I, 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 I have to say, this was done completely at random, so the fact that Klopp has ended up at Wrexham makes me sick, um, considering the, how much they're supposed to win the National League. Anyway, uh, Yeovil Town have Marcelo Gallardo. Uh, Antonio Conte is the final manager, and he finds himself at York City. So this is the National League. If we take a look at the season preview, uh, Wrexham are the odds-on favourites to win it, but they do have the best team. Let's dive in a, in a year's time and see what has actually happened with some of these managers. Maidstone United are 100 to 1 to stay up. Can Jose do it? That is my question. That's more of a question to me than can Klopp win the league with Wrexham. So guys, we are about to start the second season and this is how the first season went. So Wrexham, obviously with no real surprise, won the National League. Jurgen Klopp gets them promoted. Chesterfield do come in second and Carlo Ancelotti does an absolute masterstroke, to be perfectly honest, with Oldham uh, getting them up into third. Uh, but Solihull Moors with Ernesto Valverde have got themselves promoted into Skybet League 2. Uh, Edgar Street will be, taking, uh, will be taking on Football League football next season which is going to be absolutely crazy chesterfield did have unai emery so he did finish second in the division but not not really very good jose Mourinho managed to avoid relegation with maidstone united which is very good it means they secure themselves uh national league football for the foreseeable and pep in 10th with scunthorpe very very interesting there but i believe we've had some casualties at the bottom christoph galtier is there still at gateshead um didn't get sacked like I thought he might. Uh, Going to be interesting to see how he manages in the Vanarama National League North. Uh, Barnet also got relegated. They did sack their manager, uh, which was the Wolves manager. Yikes, he did get sacked. That is not great. 15% win ratio. 
big yikes for him. Yeovil Town do still have Marcelo Gallardo, uh, so that's very interesting. And Weldstone still with Nagelsmann. The Bayern New Munich manager cannot get it done with Weldstone, even with the Weldstone Raiders. So that's very interesting after one season. We're going to fast forward just a little bit more now, five years into the future, to see where some of these clubs are now. Guys, the year is 2027. We are five years into the future of this particular simulation, and this is how the National League finished in the season number five. So some very interesting teams still knocking about in here, but it would very much appear that there's been some promotions and relegations, which we will look back on over the course of this. Um, so some very interesting stuff going on here. Lots of changeover, actually. York City, they still do have Antonio Conte. Rochdale have got themselves promoted with Steve Cottrell. That's not one of the ones that we set up. Diego Simeone's got Woking promoted, which is really nice. Barnett are back in the National League after their relegation. But let's have a little look. So this is how things were in that first season. Wrexham were promoted as champions. Let's see where Wrexham are now. Uh, they are about to start football in Skybet League One. That is ridiculous. Jurgen Klopp with the promotion. Let's have a look at their season overview. So they got themselves promoted out of the National League. Is that... Oh, no. They got themselves promoted out of the National League in that first season. This the, this is the second season. Uh, they finished seventh in Skybet League Two. The following year, they won it, and then they've kind of uh, plateaued a little bit in League One. Uh, but they're doing the, they're doing the best out of all the clubs so so far. So that is very impressive uh, from Jurgen Klopp doing good things with uh, Liverpool. There, Sully Holmores. How have they gone? They've managed to stay in Skybet League Two themselves. Obviously, got themselves promoted in that first season, and then kind of maintained a little bit. Not really excelled a little bit, but. Skybet League what uh, League Two football is very good and Ernesto Valverde is still knocking about there. Chesterfield now find themselves in Skybet League One as well. Unai Emery doing really good work there. Two promotions in four seasons for him, which is very, very good. Uh I just got up. I, I'm curious. Maidstone United, Jose Mourinho has got Maidstone promoted, everybody. Jose Mourinho is the manager that they need. That is that is it. That is it. He, he's won the Champions League. He's won the Europa League. He's won the Europa Conference League. And has he did he win a please tell me he won a National League title? He didn't. They went up. They went up in the playoffs. Well done, Jose. Well done. I, I'm I'm very impressed with that. Um, so all in all, after five seasons, it's been really interesting. Let's have a look at Pep. Still in the National League. Pep Guardiola still in the National League. Is he better than is he is he the best manager out there? I don't know. Or a Scunthorpe just in the mud. I just don't know. You're gonna have to let me know down in the comments. Um, some very interesting stuff here. If we have a look up the divisions, let's see if we can spot some of these teams. This is how they're about to start for season number six. So Sully Moors are there, Woking are there, uh Maidstone are here. Obviously, we've touched on them. Bromley have got themselves promoted with Sari, which is very impressive as well. Sari are playing, is playing in League 2. Boreham Wood got themselves promoted with Bioli as well. Again, very impressive to see some of these teams getting promoted. It makes a very interesting case for having a good manager, doesn't it? And some interesting other teams in here. Uh, da -da -da, Stockport were already promoted. Sutton were already promoted. There's Wrexham. And I think that is as high as anybody's got i don't think anyone has made it into the championship just yet which they haven't let's fast forward another five years and just see what happens as all of these managers are about to go back to the clubs that they're actually at in real life so after 10 seasons the vanarama national league is looking very very different there are some interesting clubs in here the likes of accrington stanley have dropped themselves down bolton now find themselves in the national league as well farsley obviously promoted gillingham down here Maidstone, Jose not not doing the job there. He's obviously now uh, departed himself. He has just left. He is uh, resigned and is now a free agent after his uh, period of time at Maidstone United. Um, we've also still got Scunthorpe down here. Has Pep just stayed in the National League? Pep's not got promoted. That is very very interesting and it's not like Scunthorpe were a bad team either uh, York City getting relegated uh, did they sack Antonio Conte nope he just left as we had already set up Antonio Conte doing a 10 year stint with York City not really pushing them to the heights Oldham Athletic are back down in this division as well obviously having just had Carlo Ancelotti as their manager let's have a, a step up Skybet League 2 have got some teams in here Telford United uh, they're doing alright they're doing really well actually Dorking 
watching you uh, uh, here. I can't remember who all of these managers have, who all, the, who all these managers were. Spalletti was there, won them a Sky Bet League 2 and an FA Trophy at Dorking. That's amazing. Bromley. If we take a look at their managers, they did have Sarri. Uh, Sarri absolutely smashed it by the looks of things. Second in the National League, promoted by the playoffs. Won the FA Trophy. Third in Sky Bet League 2. Finished 23rd and got relegated. Promoted as Champions of League 2 again. And then they got relegated. So they just kind of bounced up and down. But Sarri's done a very good job there. I would still say that amount of promotions is very impressive. Uh, Dorking. I, I, have I just looked at Dorking? I can't remember. They had Spalletti. So yes, I did uh filed i don't think they had a manager they did not they've done that all on their own some i think they've done really well sully Holm wars uh they did really well uh valverde there finished fourth in the national league promoted by the playoffs and won the fa trophy as well um but only took them to sky bet league two okay let's have a little step up we're now into sky bet league one where we find wrexham obviously they did have our main man jürgen klopp who guided them to a national league title and a sky bet league two title but couldn't take them beyond league one uh we've also got woking in here uh, as their manager they did have Diego Simeone finished second in the National League uh, League 2 champions relegated from League 1 and promoted back out of League 2 again so he's done pretty well there uh, three promotions in one relegation in 10 years I think that's quite a good job for someone managing at Woking is there anyone else in here who's really jumping out at me I don't think there is you know and then did anyone make the step up to the championship I don't think they would have done but it's always worth having a look no they didn't did anyone make the step all the way up to the to the premier league i would assume not and no they haven't so that was very interesting to see how good a manager can be and what actually happens to some of these teams let's have a look at wrexham super quick obviously they were one of the teams that did get the furthest we have a look at their schedule and have a look at last season i kind of want to see what happened in some of these games can i see them Oh, no, that would have been really interesting to see how some of these games did pan out to see if I could see if they use crop system. Maybe that's uh, something that we can do in another video. If you have enjoyed this little video, guys, trapping some of the best managers in the world into the National League to see what would happen, please do drop a like on it down below. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you are around here for the very first time. It is free. It does help out the channel. And until next time, guys, check out this playlist right here. It's got loads more experiments in FM23 that we have done just like this one.